Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields and welcome to a video that's going to help people with sleep apnea and snoring. We're going to start with doing some massage, some circular motions just like this. Just do it vigorously. Go for it. Let's get some blood into the area. We're going to be working three different areas. The nose, the throat, and the tongue, believe it or not. Let's get some, this is a great adjunct to getting care in our office. So go for it. Just give it some energy. Circular motions. Oh, loving it. Okay, now we're going to take the knuckles and get in there right next to the nose and push. I want you to feel pain. Okay, push hard. If you don't feel pain, move it out a little bit and just get in there and just dig. Just feel it. Sometimes I do this and people come in. I'll only do this. People come back the next visit and say, oh, wow, my nasal passages are way open. So this is, this is just in and of itself is a great one. Move a little bit outside and push a little harder. Really get in. You might even feel it radiate. You might feel it radiate into your lip. And just push. Relax the shoulders. The chest is up. Big breath in. Just breathe through that nose. Breathing through your nose actually secretes nitric oxide in your lungs and helps even your lungs expand. Nasal breathing is so important. Okay, we're going to do some nasal breathing through one nostril so take your left hand i'm going to do the mirror image of what you do close your right your left nostril and then breathe in you can close your eyes and close that nostril breathe in deep feel your ribs expand on this it might be difficult to breathe through your that nostril but let's go ahead and just give it a shot if you feel dizzy or anything, just stop or breathe in with your opposite nostril and just breathe in and breathe out. You're increasing your respiratory strength here also, your endurance. Now get a rhythm. Switch to the other side. Your nose warms the incoming air for optimal lung function. At the same time, it's helping your pituitary gland regulate body temperature and sleeping patterns. Make those inhales grand. Make them big. Go for it. Just the act of breathing through your nose helps keep the nasal passages open. Nose breathing reduces anxiety. Nose breathing reduces snoring. Your nose is going to feel a little more open now. Let's do some occipital lifts now. The back and the side we're going to lift that up because a lot of you are like this and that's closing down your breathing centers neurologically and closing down your nose so take the knuckle right here and just lift that skull and bring the opposite side down good now lift the other side and lift here we go we're going to just lift that skull bring the one hand down and the top hand's going to push up up and towards the sky diagonally Good. Pushing it up and pulling it down. Good. You're going to feel, just tap in a little bit. You might feel a little restriction one side more than another. Just lift that skull. Maybe a little bit of a change over the angle. Bring the head forward just a little bit. See if there's a restriction on either side there. Find the restriction. Capitalize on it. Good. Now, really good posture. Bring that chest up. lifting that skull. Your head will feel a little bit light. Your head will be able to go back a little easier over your shoulders after this exercise. And just keep lifting, lifting. Good. Oh, let's do a few more. Then we're going to move on to the throat. Let's go one, two, three. Put the tip of your tongue between your teeth 
and let's begin to do some swallowing. We're going to do five swallows just with the tip. It's a little challenging. Let's gather in some saliva and let's go a little bit further out with the tongue now. You'll feel that throat really work. Mmm, it's tough. Now, take the tip of your tongue behind the lower teeth, push that jaw open, and open your mouth as wide as you can. Now, use your tongue to open your jaw even more. Pull your shoulders down like you're putting your shoulder blades in your back pocket and take some big deep breaths with this. Keep that jaw open as wide as you can. Very good. Now we're going to massage that jaw a little bit. Good. Get in there. You'll notice that your voice is a little deeper after that open mouth exercise. Sound like a late night DJ. There you go. Just massage. Let's get that jaw so it can open up when it needs to. Get everything open. Air just installing windows in your nose and your throat. Control. We don't want that tongue to go back into the back of the throat. Let's go ahead and do it again. Open mouth, tongue curled forward. Arrange your posture as good as you can and take deep breaths. Feel proud, like there's a string attached to your head and it's just pulling you to the ceiling. Relax your shoulders down. Breathe deeply in through your nose. This you can do on a regular basis. Now with that mouth open, you're going to be taking some deep breaths. And when you breathe out, I want, like there's an egg in the back of your throat, you're going to be saying, ah, okay? So, ah, really push, push the tongue down, down hard on the floor of your mouth. Like a doctor has a tongue suppressor in the back of your throat. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it sounded kind of silly, so we're going to smile. We're actually going to do half smiles now. You're going to go the left side, then the right. Left. And right. Get that corner of your mouth way up. Left. And right. Feel silly yet? It's okay. Left. Right. Left. Right.
The next thing we're going to do, we're going to work a muscle called the posterior digastric muscle. Take your thumb, bring it to the corner of your jaw, and this is something you can do if you feel tenderness in there or radiation into the back of your throat, you can really do this a lot. Go to the corner of your jaw, take your thumb and bring it up behind your jaw. If you feel a little tenderness in there, that's the posterior digastric muscle. We can even work both of them at the same time. Um, I kind of like just one just for daily activity but for right now let's find let's see if we can find some tenderness and just push up if you feel weird if this doesn't feel right in any way just stop immediately but that little tenderness it's a muscle if you don't feel it on the left just hold it on the right if you don't feel it on the right just hold it on the left and just hold that muscle you might feel a little radiation if you do you can also give it some back and forth on that this is a great muscle. Boy, this is such a secret in getting the throat opened up, getting the breathing opened up. Just work all behind that jaw, wherever you feel any tenderness. You can work all the way to the front of your chin. This is one, if you feel it, you can do it like throughout the day even. Mmm, that feels good. We're going to do some imprinting of your tongue, kind of like when we did the Oz. But we're just going to push that tongue as hard as we can down into the bottom of your mouth. So push for about 10 seconds, and we'll relax for a second, and then we'll do another one. You're strengthening and exercising your tongue muscles right now. The throat and even your jaw muscles with this one. Good, and another. We're moving your tongue away from your airway. Let's get the tongue. We're going to exercise it in three ranges of motion. You're going to bring it to the chin, hold it for about five seconds, and we're going to bring it to the nose for five seconds, and then to the ceiling for five seconds. We're going to do a lot of reps of these, okay? We want to get that tongue, again, so it doesn't fall back to the back of the throat. So let's go ahead and open it. And to the nose. To the ceiling with the head back. Your trachea, when you look up to the ceiling, is going to be lifted upward. Your throat muscles will contract to the chin. Nose. And all the muscles in your front of your neck are exercised and stretched. Chin. Nose. When the trachea is elevated, your tongue is going to remain in a neutral position rather than slipping back to your throat. Ceiling. One more round. Nose. Ceiling. You feel a little goofy, but you did a lot of great for yourself. Make sure you do this every day while you're getting care. 
probably getting the cranial adjusting in our office. See you soon.